Hey Pisces. All right, you guys, it's gonna be for anyone that has Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind it's a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single Pisces that watches, okay? First reading is for the ones that are taken or loosely involved with someone, and the second reading is for the singles. Past, present, and future for both, okay? So for taking or loosely involved, you have a girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. And I swear, if y'all watched the rest of the videos before this one premiered, I swear there is no rigging to any of these cards. Some of the same cards have been coming out all day. <laughs> all day. The day this premieres, the day I recorded it. I, uh, some of the same cards, I'm telling you. Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories, okay? They also have acts, okay? Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So there could have been a breakup, okay? There could have been somebody trying to put their foot down. There could have been some type of betrayal in the past as well. All right, so let's we'll see what's going on. In the recent past, you have the Ten of Swords. This is an ending of a difficult situation. Something coming to an end. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I really don't. Um, this could have been an air sign that you're dealing with. It feels like... There was, a, there was some type of ending between you and someone, or there was a, a, a cycle that ended. I feel like there's a cycle that ended, okay? You could be dealing with an air sign, earth sign, or fire sign. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. There's some type of major change that happened in the past, it looks like. I, what I just say? The World Card. I feel like there's a toxic cycle that's ending, is what it feels like. Okay, I'm saying Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. And I feel like it has to, yeah. Someone put a stop to uh, drama, conflict, competition. There's an energy of someone not taking any kind of bullshit anymore. And I feel like there was a closing out of something here. There could have been a breakup. Could have been a breakup here. But I'm not getting breakup. Your current energy is a ton of coins. That's why I'm like, okay, um, I don't think this is a breakup. I think this is somebody stopping a pattern of something, okay? I'm not sure what that pattern was, but it's done. Tell me about the past. What exactly is this that ended? What the fuck, see? I told, I see. Don't nobody listen to me. The number 16 and 17 card in the tarot. I like this, because it came out in this order. The tower and the star. When the tower blows up and you're at the bottom, it feels like, you know, the death, okay? It feels like death, it feels like ending. But when you get to the bottom and you realize that all you can see and all you can do is look up, and that's when you see the star. That's how I interpret the, the tower into the star. All right, because the tower and then the star, then the moon and the sun. In the tower, that's the order, right? That is kind of what I'm seeing here for the recent past. It feels like, even when you're at your lowest, when you feel like this connection isn't gonna make it and things are just, there may have been a breakup. There could have been some type of tragic ending. But I feel like once you got down from falling from the tower, you looked up and you you got a sense of hope here with the star card here. There's still some optimism here. Is what I got from this. Okay. There's some healing that happened after a tower moment too. And I feel like it's closed out now. So going into this ten of coins, I feel like this could be you focus on your money, or this could be the two of you getting together, getting back together. Tell me about the ten of coins. This is a card that talks about a uh, happy family life, um, money. Look, see, the lovers. Okay, so for a lot of you, I can put it two different ways. There could have been a drastic change in the connection between you and your partner, right? Uh, and I feel like whatever made you feel hurt before, that's all closed out. The pattern, some type of pattern has stopped. It could have been a cheating pattern, could have been an addiction pattern, some type of pattern that was toxic to this connection. It stopped, it has ended, and I feel like someone has a lot more hope for the connection now. Um, now you're in this energy of uh, like major stability, a lot of love, a lot of um, uh, intimacy, not just sex, but deep, like real intimacy, okay? I'm seeing security here, okay? I'm seeing you two finding the magic in the little things in life, realizing the love could not fall with the tower. That's what I'm kind of getting here. This is beautiful. Others of you just went through a really deep, dark ending with someone, but still had hope for a new relationship. And some of you are in this new connection now where you are now dealing with someone who is on your level, someone that wants the same goals as you. I like this. 
So either way, I'm seeing a lot of love for you in the current energy. I'm seeing you making memories with this person. All right. I see it because I feel like you, I'm getting you learned your worth. You knew your worth. And I feel like you cut off anything that wasn't aligned with that. Okay. Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, and Virgo right here. Tell me more about the current energy. It feels like a new path you and this person are on or a new person you have decided to choose that are that is now on your new path, okay? Knight of Coins, beautiful energy. You two moving kind of slowly. The love is there, though it's strong, all right? Three of Cups, yeah. I feel like this went from friendship to something a lot more, and I think it kind of took off quickly, but I feel this is a this beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. I'm getting Virgo again, okay? And it's, it's moving slowly, but there's a lot of like deep feelings a lot of love here okay some of you could have had more than one option and chose the one you felt most comfortable with and i see that being your best bet that was the best choice to make a cycle of your in your love life a cycle has completely ended where you're you're not dealing with uh negative uh players anymore okay you're not dealing with narcissists anymore i see you meeting your match or having your match and i feel like this is gonna go very far i feel like it already has for a lot of you okay in your near future, you have the Queen of Wands. Look at this. Okay, a lot of confidence, a lot of, uh, look at this. Fiery, a lot of passion here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. The Seven of Wands, okay. Um, I don't think this is y'all. I don't think this is y'all. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. I don't think this is y'all anymore. Tell me about the Hermit, okay. This hermit is here. Let me get one more card. The magician. Okay, there is a. <laughs> it's possible. Possible that somebody that one of you used to deal with is gonna come in and try to break this connection up because the seven of wands gave me. Okay, you you see this stick? You see <laughs> you see this wand she got in her hand? Why did I just picture somebody coming in to try to break something up? Like, I'm seeing somebody taking... Damn it. I see somebody coming in to separate something. I kind of see somebody being like, move. You go back that way, you go back this way. And I kind of see this Queen of Wands doing that with you and this person. Why do I get that? And I feel like it's because they're, they're doing this out of loneliness. They may still be trying to create something here with you. Or this person could be trying to create something with your person. I'm not getting that primarily, but that's the first thing that came up in my head. I'm also seeing a bit of resistance here for some reason. Like someone wanting to be alone, someone, someone wanting to push somebody away to stay at a distance. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands or the Queen of Wands. The Sun. This threw me off. This just threw me way off. Cause what the hell's going on? What's the problem? Um, okay. On the flip side, I'm also seeing someone who may be the jealous type. The person you're dealing with may know that you have options. Because some of you have options with the lovers here. Um, could I have to symbolize options as well? If you have options, the person you're dealing with, the person you're connecting with, they may be kind of possessive. And they may start to push people away because they're falling in love with you. They may start to get a little possessive. Um, and that may make you kind of try to push them away a little bit. Not too much for real. I feel like you're kind of... You or this person may go into hermit mode because of jealousy is what I'm kind of getting here. I don't know why I'm getting that. I do see this person falling in love with you. If they're not already. I feel like, I feel like this person is falling in love with you. Yeah. Two of Cups. I don't see anything anyone needs to worry about, per se, but I do see a bit of resistance for some reason. I'm also seeing this person fighting for you. Like, this person's like a warrior for you. Like, they're like, you're, they're like, Pisces ain't going nowhere. I'm seeing this being a fire sign, or they're going to be really fiery about this, whatever this is. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is somebody doing this? Four of Cups. Um, I'm not sure if someone starts to feel rejected and they're starting to like fire back. They're trying to, like, they're like trying to fight for this to stand up for. I don't know what the fuck ends up happening. What causes the, the devil? Someone may start to, uh, huh. 
Someone may start to sense negativity. I need more. I need more. Because why do we just go from the lovers to the devil? I need more. Someone's ready for more. For some of you, someone's ready for more than the other. And that may cause a drift in the connection just a little bit. That's what I'm mostly getting. Someone starts to get a little confident and start to offer more and start to want more. And, the, and I feel like if you're like, you're kind of like, oh, no, no, I ain't ready for that. This feels like the other read I just did. What's the other read? Um, I think Scorpio had this read. One of the readings I just did today is between Libra and Pisces. One of the readings I just did today kind of had that same outcome. Pay attention to the red flag. The signs are cautioning you, okay? I feel someone starts to not want the other due to toxic traits they might find. Someone starts to get kind of distant, and I feel like it's you that gets distant from your person. Even though everything's fine right now. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others and give your relationship a chance. I feel there's a sense of paranoia that makes that someone may start to have. Someone's paying a little too much attention to, a red, to red flags and maybe putting in their own spin, okay? Someone's being told to give this relationship a chance and I feel like it's you that needs to do that, okay? You call this person in, whoever this is, you manifested this person and I feel like you're gonna realize that later because the magician is here. So whoever this is, you manifested. Um, Cause you wanted the pattern to stop. You wanted to stop dealing with narcissists. So you started to manifest a new person, here they go. Now they're falling for you, now you're falling for them. And I feel like they want something a little more serious with you. Possibly marriage for a lot of you. For, lot of, for the ones of you in a relationship, um, the person wants marriage with you or you want marriage with them and the other is not ready. For the ones you loosely dealing with someone, someone wants a relationship and the other one's not ready. You're being told to give the relationship a chance and stop paying so much attention to small things. I feel like they're, I think they're fairly small. I don't think they're that bad, I really don't. You're being told to give it a chance, so just see what happens. Kind of go with the flow. Yeah, very soon you got to clear. You got to decide what you're want, what you're wanting. Okay, and start trying to just retreat and run from it. Be careful about just running from it. All right, all right. Uh, that was very confusing. <laughs> very confusing. Uh, this could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, a Virgo, Fire Sun, or Water sign. I'm seeing Fire the most, Leo and Aries specifically. All right. All right, you guys. Moving on to singles. Hey, singles. All right, you guys, you have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, and falling in love. Then you have not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear or ego issues, and jealousy. Then you have hammer, um, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. All right? So, in the recent past, you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, I see an energy of you falling in love with someone. Okay, fall down. I'm seeing single or not, I'm seeing you falling for someone here. Okay, or there's there could be someone coming towards you that's already in love with you, or vice versa. Okay, it's coming off as Pisces energy. So I feel like for some of you, you were um, trying to shoot your shot. Okay, eight of wands. Look at that as I'm splitting the deck. So I'm seeing someone definitely trying to shoot their shot. Okay, they're gonna be this type of emotional outpour on somebody's behalf okay you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign tell me about the knight of cups there's a need for you in the recent past to have balance your emotions okay clarity i feel like you realize how much love someone has for you or you realize um the love you have for someone okay it's keep coming up as pisces energy again Another damn Pisces card. I see you developing a lot of feelings for someone here. Now, mind you, it's right underneath the kisses card, the unconditional love card, okay? The giving and receiving affection card and falling in love. All right, so I feel like this is a mutual feeling between you and someone. Uh, even though you are single from them, I do see this being fairly mutual. You could be dealing with another Pisces <laughs> as possible. All right, but I'm saying you're dealing with someone that's fairly emotional or someone who is very into you. Whether they mention this or not, okay, I feel like this person is very into you or you're very into them. I feel like this person is into you though. Tell me more about the past. Oh well, shit, yep, see, 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 four of swords. All right, this could be an air sign you're dealing with, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is someone you have distanced yourself from or maybe they distance themselves from you. 
Okay, take it vice versa if you need to. I'm not going to keep doing that. All right. I'm going to read it one way. I'm going to leave it at that. If it's flipped for you in your story, then it's flipped. Okay. Four of swords and three of wands. I think someone here is waiting on... It's funny because three of wands is the current energy, but we're going to get to that. Three of wands and the four of swords. Someone's waiting on... An emotional conversation, I feel. And I feel, I feel specifically that it's an emotional conversation. I feel there's... I'm getting multiple different sort of lines in my head. Bear with me. What I'm seeing is someone here is definitely having a lot of feelings for you. And they're trying to come towards you or they're wanting to or have attempted to, to come towards you. I feel you are trying to keep your distance from this person because they're trying to evaluate what they're wanting. I feel you just realized... No, I feel this person just realized how they feel about you. And now they're coming towards you wanting to make some type of offer, okay? Or just to simply tell you that they have feelings for you. You, on the other hand, are still recovering from something, possibly from a heartbreak, or you're just taking a break from love in general. Uh, I feel like you are needing a lot of quiet time to yourself to really think about what you're wanting in regards to your love life. Okay? Others of you, it's flipped. Some of you have tried to do this with someone in particular, and they're doing it for that reason. Okay? But the Three of Wands is here in the current energy and in the past. Okay? So there's still some waiting here. Um, it is cut, cut, literally. And it's right underneath the not enough cards. So someone is lacking a lot of confidence because of the patience that they're needing to have in this connection. Tell me about the Three of Wands. This could be an Aries. There's someone here that's trying to plan a long term. You're trying to plan something with this person. Look. Two of Swords and the Five of Cups. Someone is definitely feeling like they are being cut out of a situation, being cut out of the connection, which may be feeling, which, which is why this is a single read, I feel. All right, this could be a water sign, um, air sign, or an Aries. I'm saying Aries strongly, and Leo. Um, every sign is here but Earth. Any, any, any Earth places I'm not really seeing. Page of Cups is here again, by the way. I feel someone feels cut out and someone's feeling a little disappointed about where things are heading between you and them. And I feel like it's you that feels this way. I feel like you're still waiting on this person. I feel like this person is not returning calls. I feel like this person is not texting back. I feel like this person is kind of keeping you in the dark. Okay, keeping you kind of blocked out. They could have blocked you. And I feel like you feel saddened about it. So I more about how Pisces feels. I feel like you feel like this is not enough. You're like you're frustrated because you're wanting more out of someone and you're waiting on more from them. How you feel about them, you are in love with them. With this love is here. I feel like you're waiting on someone to make a move. Gemini energy. Some of y'all are waiting on someone to make a move. Some of y'all have already started to plan a future with this person. You feel abandoned by this person. You feel left out. Alright, this could be an earth, this could be a tourist. There you go. The earth signs. If you feel left out, I feel like you want to build something with this person, but you feel like you're losing hope. I feel like you're losing hope, and I feel like it's because they're blocking you out. They're not trying to hear you. I feel like they're not trying to hear you. Why is this person acting toward like this towards um, Pisces? Five of Wands. They maybe feel like they're avoiding conflict or drama by keeping a, their distance. I don't know why they feel that. Maybe you've been through this with this person before. This could be an ex of yours. They feel like they would be avoiding conflict or drama, that they don't, they don't want to be a part of it. They are very much trying to focus on their finances and their own independence and their own spiritual, financial, emotional growth. They are just acting independent. They're just kind of, they, and you know what? I don't think they have any problem with you. I just think they're trying to take a step back. Now, some of you, this could be you, um, but I feel like you're in love with them and you're wanting more with them, but they're kind of like, you know, I feel like they were doing a lot of the emotional work before, the, a lot of the emotional expression before, but I feel like you took a break from them. Some of you, you may have took a break from them, you could have took a, step, took a step back from them, and they may have surrendered and kind of just gave up, and now you're waiting on them, and they're like, I think I'm a, they're like, let me just avoid this, let me just not, because they don't want the drama or conflict. Why would they think there's drama or conflict? Three of coins. Could be a love triangle that you made that they that they may have experience with you, or vice versa. You may have experienced um a love triangle with, with them. Okay. Uh and they're not they're not for it or you're not for it. And I feel like you're feeling disappointed because you're wanting something long term with them. You're wanting to see a future with them and you're it's making it it's kinda hard to see now. I feel like it's kinda hard to see. Okay, you may be losing a little hope here. 
in the near future, you have the King of Wands. This person will take action towards you, okay? Tell me about the King of Wands. Yeah, I'm seeing a second chance here, all right? All, all hope is not lost, Pisces. I'm seeing a second chance being given to you or you being, you're being you giving it to them. I'm seeing a second chance here. There's a new um, opportunity here. Someone's still a little stressed out about um, trying to rekindle this connection, trying to work on this, but I do see you two rebuilding this connection, okay? Now, crazy thing is that the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, okay? So there are, there is a matching pair here, okay? There is a matching pair here. Tell me more about the near future. Yeah, I do see someone um, gaining the confidence to come towards you or you're getting the confidence to go towards someone. There's still a little, a little level of fear here, but a lot more confidence than before. I don't know what creates that level of confidence. Uh, I think someone just starts to get kind of bold. Okay. Let me more. Let me get one more. For the near future, what else coming up? It's going to be moving slowly but surely because someone's still stuck in their head. Mentally, they're still kind of, or you're still kind of like, hmm, I don't know where this is going to go, but let's take it slow. Let's just see where it goes. But I do see a lot of um, communication here. A lot of communication here. A lot of, I see, I see a second chance. I'm not seeing much, but I do see a slow moving offer coming towards you. This person is trying to level with you or you're leveling with them. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. And I feel like this person had you waiting, but I think it was, to be honest, I think it was for a good reason for some of you. I thought this person felt like they were just avoiding drama. They didn't want to be a part of it. Okay, they just didn't want to be a part of anything um, that was going to be a negative influence in their own life. Okay, whether there was whether they whether they had the reason whether they had a real reason to think that or not, um, it was for their best interest. That's what they felt was right. All right, but they do love you. Okay, they do or they do, they have feelings for you like you have feelings for them. Um, I do see them taking action towards you or you may be taking action towards them and you two will move slowly but surely into a new direction coming out of this energy. Okay. So right now it's not enough because you're having to wait for it, but it will get better. Okay. All right. What else we got? Any additional messages? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay. That could also symbolize childish acts, so just be mindful of that. But just in general, some of you, their um, children can be involved in this in some way, shape, or form. Okay? I'm seeing a childish ex for some of you. I'm not sure why I'm saying that. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay? King and Queen of Wands. I told you. All right? You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right? I'm also seeing Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Pisces. Okay? Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You just need to have, just just trust in this. Okay, trust in the process. Whatever's going on is needing to go on. Okay, this person just needs time to think and reevaluate, or you need time to think and reevaluate. Okay, but I do see a second chance. I see this needing to be a situation where, or I'm also saying that a trust could have played a part in this. Someone may have trust issues, and that may be why they're trying to keep their distance, or that you were trying to keep their distance, trying to keep your distance. Okay, codependency as well. Oh, you also have an honorable mention. Four cards want to come out, but I only take three. But this fourth one says the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change the mind. So basically everything I just said. <laughs> this person is changing their mind. This is not over. Okay, even though a lot of you feel like it is over because at the bottom of the deck, you have the Grim Reaper. So a lot of you felt like there were no second chances and that there was just a need for just this to just end and that was it. If just final. Kind of. No, it's not over, okay? I'm saying you being very much in love with this person and they feel the same way. I just feel like someone needed time to think. That's all, okay? This is a soulmate, by the way. All right, this looks beautiful. All right, you guys. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.